हेलो फ्रेंड्स गुड इवनिंग सो टुडे माय सेक्शन इज रिलेटेड टू कैलेंडर कस्टम कैलेंडर कंट्रोल इन पावर ऑफ सो टुडे वे लाइक आई वुड लाइक टू एक्सप्लेन फ्यू थिंग्स हाउ टू इंप्लीमेंट दिस सो बिफोर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट ऑन दिस टॉपिक आई जस्ट वांट टू से लाइक इन पावर ऑफ we can also like uh, this is the simple calendar uh, it's a custom calendar which i used like gallery control to implement this uh, and uh, but we can also uh, it is the simple we are uh, in this control we are simple um, like we are uh, uh, showing the current date and we are showing the last month details and previous months uh, coming month detail all these thing we are showing here but uh, we but i have not implemented it in data related thing suppose if i want to show uh, data i have to get get the data from sharepoint and i want to bind it in the calendar count <coughs> that i'll show you in my next videos but today in this video it's related to only to create a calendar control so i'll show you how to do it so here i have already implemented this so no need to uh, i am not going to create it from a uh, scratch so uh, <clears throat> before that i uh, i'll uh, so you i will tell you one thing uh, here is my it's already i have created a blocks for this uh, this is uh, like uh, you can uh, go to the enjoysharepoint.com and here you will get the how to create a custom calendar control in power of this here i have already mentioned in uh, very clearly so that you can understand it easily uh, you see uh, in my each step i uh, explain in uh, details means what is this how to create all the code also i have source code also i have already uh, provided to you you can um, create it by your own self but before before that i just uh, this video is only for i will show you just a small demo where you can uh, uh, when it will means it will help you uh, when you implement it so first of all just create a uh, power of uh, power of uh, like new screen <coughs> like this is a canvas app here i have created new screen in the screen first of all this is my less simple level and uh, you can also uh, put whatever text you want to enter here i have given like um, put next what i did here this is my rectangle i put it here and i have added two icon here one is back icon one is forward icon that you will get it from here from the icons gallery and here in the back first of all before going to start first we have to initialize something that if go to the home control here on the on visible like in on visible i have set few things here you have to see set user data selected this is the current date this is the first day of month first day in the view last day in the month and minimum date maximum date this is the code which you will help you to get the current date and uh, first day of month you this is the formula you have to um, already i have given this formula in my blogs you can uh, take the reference from there but uh, here is the formula first you have to set the on visible property here once you set this one then come to here in the screen and there is a like backwards icon and uh, forward icon in the backward icon you can the back icon you can put this code this formula like in the on select property uh, set first day of month data at this and set first day of view if minimum date is greater than first day of month then set minimum date is first day of month this is the formula you have to set it in the backward and the forward icon you will set this like only same only last day of month is greater than maximum date this is the only change and other at same this is the thing you have to implement it here next come to here next there is a label i have added here here you have to just simple in the text if text first day of month you can set the like uh, what is the 
this is the means the input means how what is the type is means there is a month year and date or day month year like you can put it like um, you can uh, implement it as per your requirement okay so that's all once this is done then i have what i did here i added a one gallery control which gallery control this is a like go to here in a blank horizontal gallery control that also i can show you if you see it here uh, i have created a simple app here and in on visible property i have um, given the all the, i have added my formula that formula you will get it from here you can co just copy it and paste next go to here here what i did in the back Mm, uh, icon I have added this code that code also you will get it here next forward in forward also you will get the formula from here next come to in the label in the label I have added this current date that also I have given it here next come to in the six step here what I did here I have added one blank horizontal gallery next what you did I have changed few properties here over here you can also get it from here in the properties if you go to the gallery property here I did few changes here if you go size and colors and all the like so scroll bar off so navigation oh, all these thing property you can uh, set as you know, what I have already mentioned here this is the steps you can follow the same or you can do as for your requirement next step is item property of gallery if you go to here in the item property um, here in the item property you have to mention calendar dot week sort week days sort so in the item property you have to uh, set this formula so next what you did next in the uh, go to the just in the uh, if you set this like this gallery actually here there are two gallery control one is gallery one one is gallery two gallery two i uh, i am showing you all this like date and in gallery one i am showing you what is the day so you have to give two you have to drag and drop two gallery control in the first gallery control you have to do like this so once you set the property of this gallery control it will come till this line it's not coming to and line because you have to set the position so it will keep it now uh, it will set in the top only so once you set this once you drag and drop this control and set the property next you go to the edit property in the edit property you just add one level here if you see here in the edit property just drag and drop one level here this is like this one so that it will automatically come up all these we means days name in your level like here so this is a very easiest thing you can do it so next what I did next I you know, went here next click to the um, fill property so we have to change the color of this property so next what will be what we will do next we will go to the label fill property here if you will go this item that uh, I will go to the fill property. Yeah. If you go to here, here, if what I said, if the item dot value is Sunday or item value is Saturday, then the color is, color will get changed. If the it is a weekend, you can mention something like in RV country there is a Friday Saturday is the holiday. So you can uh, uh, set is Friday and Saturday. If it will come, then the color will be change means the this color is little bit different here you can uh, show this is the one thing you can show is uh, so that you can someone as recognize this very easily <coughs> so the that code also I given it here you can just take the reference from here next once this is done next go to your gallery control again drag and drop one blank vertical <coughs> gallery control so here see and set the properties like same what I did it here if you see here whatever the say <coughs> property I set it here you can do the same next what you will do is to go to the item property 
sorry next go to the item property here you can mention 0 1 2 3 means whatever the date is there that all these date you just have to mention here in a type of array in the array if you see it here i already given to you just put the name next same you can do it here go to the edit click it here and drag and drop on label if you uh, just drag and drop on label once you add this label so all this date will come automatically come it here okay so uh, add the label so that all this date will come here come to the screen next just select that label next go to the text property of that label if you I select it here in the text property you have to put this formula date day date add first day of view and values days so that also you will get it here i have already given this comment so that is the thing next what you will do <coughs> next add one the same way <coughs> when you add this uh, label the same way you have to drag and drop one so like rectangle so if you once you add this rectangle it will come to your screen like this so it will come in a all rectangle in your screen so that just go to the rectangle and in the there is a property records in the record the send backwards so i'll show you here rectangle just right click here next go to the records there is send backward if you click it here then in the next screen what you will set it will come like this see once you set that property it will come like this okay next step what you will do next step just click it here just click it here next go to the border thickness uh, sorry uh, <coughs> domicile fuel uh, next in the border thickness you will add this code also here i have also given here in the border thickness you will get this code and next there is a fill property in the fill property you have to you have to you have to set the fill property actually it's uh, if you see it here in field property i have added this code you can also take the reference from here this is my field properties next once you uh, done this then just go to here again click to edit so that will um, means uh, i am going to add one circle in the circle if you will add so in the current date it will show you uh, in a uh, round like it will show you in a different format in the circle format so that someone will understand easily so how what i will do just i added one circle just click it here again and drag and drop on circle next go to the same in the recorded and click it send backward so it will come it come up like this next go to the circle and in the on select just on the on select just add this formula what i have given it here just uh, add this formula here uh, next what you will do once you add this formula if you see the current date will come it here if i will run this uh, if you see the august 30 it is coming in a round format as you see i will do screen. yeah it's like this so next what you will do um, next in the sub go to uh, next i think it's almost done next just once you done everything just save your code and test it if you test if you i go to the backward it will come like this february if you will come to like june july september if you see uh it that is coming in a, a red color you can also see uh, yeah it's uh, like custom calendar control in sharepoint uh, sorry in power ups i'll you can show in my next video i will show you how to bind this uh, my means there is a sharepoint list where i have kept all these my data and i want to bind all these thing in this calendar control so that i'll show you in my next video so guys please uh, subscribe my videos to uh, uh, know the means to uh, uh, 
to know the more about this my uh, new things whatever is coming so i will show you my new videos new things so please don't forget to subscribe my videos thank you guys for watching for your time bye bye